Hi guys and welcome back to a special edition of the WRFL's Junior Footy Show. My name is Kirsty Fitzgerald and today we're down here at the Wyndham Cultural Centre for the 2015 Junior Presentation Night. In front of a packed house of more than 450 people, tonight we'll celebrate this year's Premiership Captains and Coaches as well as find out who will be crowned this year's Best and Fairest Player. So what are we waiting for? Let's find out who the winner will be. Um, it feels really cool um, because it's a good experience to be able to come down here and yeah, I was, yeah, it was really fun. Because um, it's a fun sport and you can play with your mates and like, it's a very enjoyable sport because there's a lot of things involved and yeah, and then you can get results like this and could win trophies. Um, it feels like really good. I was really nervous when I was in the top two. I got really nervous and then I won and then I got happy. Um, to like not worry about winning and losing, worry about the game and like how you play. Um, I've been playing footy for seven years and I think the highlight of the season was staying undefeated for the whole season. I think just to find your local boys team and keep playing and then don't stop when under 14s, just keep going. Uh, I thought last year had a, it was an alright season, a bit sketchy through the middle of the year. Obviously getting tired in that, but uh, this year was pretty good. Had a strong team, so it was good to get the win, I suppose. Unlucky with the premiership, but so. Uh, it's great having good mates. All of them being pretty good friends of mine. It's good. Uh, just like how to work in a team, having really good mates to play with. That's about it. Well, that's a wrap on our final episode of the WRFL Junior Footy Show for another year. Congratulations to everybody on such a fantastic year of football. Win, lose or draw, it's you guys that make our competition so great. So keep up the good work for next season. Special thanks to everybody who participated on our show as well, as well as to all of our regular viewers. Your support is greatly appreciated. Of course, if you've missed an episode during the year, don't forget to visit our website, wrfl.asn.au or keep up to date with our social media pages. Until then, have a great off season and I'll see you in 2016.